So let's do what I was about to do. So multiple windows in Emacs. You want to edit more than one file at once. So the standard command to split a window, there's two separate commands. One splits the window vertically, the other splits the window horizontally. Uh, I like to split my windows vertically, so I have a left-hand side and a right-hand side, and I normally just have two things open at once because it gets busy when I have more than that. Uh, some people like to do it horizontally. A lot of it, in the age of wide screens, it's more common to do it vertically, but back in the day, everyone did it horizontally, so it's kind of whatever your preference is. So the command to split vertically is Control X three. So if you do Control X and then just the number three, it's going to do a vertical split, and it's going to open essentially two copies of the same file right now. So if I start typing on this side, you'll see the same thing happens on that side. I literally just have two copies of the same file. Um, I can repeat this process. I can do Control X three again and subdivide my kernel, you know, and I can do Control X three again, and it can become a recursive nightmare of you know totally unusable systems. So. There's time and a place, but it's not here. If you want to close one of these, um, you do Control X zero, will close whatever window you're currently on. And if I want to go back, I can do Control X zero again, I get right back to where I was before, right? If I want to do a horizontal split, it's Control X two. So three is a vertical split, two is a horizontal split. You'll see now it splits top and bottom. This is also repeatable, you can have it multiple times. Um, there probably is some limit on how far it will go. You can configure that in your config file. Yeah, so it's telling me my window is now too small to split. So eventually it gets to the point where you access like you're an idiot. There's nothing you can do with a window smaller than that. Um, and that's what's happening here. So you can combine these. If I do Control X2, so I'm in this situation, and then I do a Control X3, I can do a vertical split within a horizontal split, right? Uh, I can do the opposite of that. I can do a control X3 followed by control X2 and have a horizontal split followed by a vertical split. I do actually use this layout sometimes. It's helpful if I'm like trying to read some config file down here and trying to look at the second config file up here and trying to merge the two over here or something. Uh, but the point is, do whatever works for you, right? Moving between windows is the next question then. So all of this time we've been creating and closing windows, but we've pretty much been staying in the same window, except when we close it, the next window automatically. Um, if you want to move between windows, the command is Control X O. So if I do Control X O once, it'll go down to this one. If I do Control X O again, it'll go over there to the right, so on and so forth. So Control X O just keeps looping me through which window my cursor is currently in. Um, so I'm over here in this window. I can work in it for a little while. These are all still the same file. I can go back here and do Control X zero because I don't actually need that extra one. Switch just between these two, so on and so forth. So now, if you actually want to deal with two different files, each, any command you execute is pretty much local to the window you're in. So how would I start a different file in this window? Same way as if you were on one window. Right. One window. Which is? Uh, control X, Control F. Yep. So if I do a Control X, Control F in this window, it'll now give me the opportunity to either go find a file that currently exists, or I'm just going to do new file two. And I can open up a second window within the same window, so on our second file in this window. So now I actually have two different files. This is file number two. It's different. So on and so forth. Right? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry? Can you repeat that once again? Yes. So the command to open a file in a separate window is just the command to open a file, period. It's control X, control F. Um, so I could come over here and open up a different file in this window. I could do like do file three. I just type control X, control F. It gives me the prompt down here. I type the file name, 